Hey y'all, Wolf359 here with a new water cooling system. Uh, I wanted to show a video of how to do the water cooling since nobody's really put a video on how to do everything together, uh, water cooling or anything. Uh, I didn't get to that. I went ahead and just threw everything into the Xbox. The Leon Lay case is what I have the Xbox 360 in. Uh, but it's simple how to do. Uh, it didn't take me long, but the number one thing is to do is sit down before you ever install anything into on your Xbox. It's the leak tester. Number one thing everybody tell you. But uh, what I did was I bought a Leon Lay case, put my Xbox 360 in it. I uh, took my time at buying all the parts for water cooling. Uh, I bought the Leon Light uh, Temp and Fan Controller. Put that in. Uh, I'll do uh, temp for everything. It also controls my fans. I have the temp controlling my video graphics card and my CPU. Uh, I'll show you how that works. Uh, there's also a video on mine of a guy that has it on his Xbox. Uh, I can't remember, but you'll be able to find his link up. Uh, but I got a XP a XSPC water block and a XSPC uh, reservoir for my pump. Uh, also have a 20 millimeter radiator built on the side. I didn't really want to do it on the side. I wanted to do it on the inside, but uh, there wasn't enough room. I would have had to lay down some of the capacitors, but I didn't really have the time at the time to do it. But I might change it up and lay them down anyway and do the radiator on the inside. But uh, for right now, it's fine. Uh, but the wiring, I'm going to put it in a loom, a uh, good loom. Uh, everything else is in a like fiber loom. These are also going into a fiber loom. I ordered that in. Uh, the XSPC reservoir also came with the LED. I put that in. I'm going to get some UV dye and put it inside. Put some blue LEDs in. Got a hole inside of case. Uh, they also make cases that have the redos for the Leon Light case with holes in the side with plexiglass for whatever. Or I might just send it off to a friend of mine that can cut it and do some paint painting on it. I'll get that done. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to hook the Leon Light Simple Fan Controller up to show you that it works and do everything else show you that it works just give me a little while y'all so the expand the wire some I also could not have done this without my friends help or anything. Uh, Wolf, uh, also told y'all I'm Wolf359. That's my Xbox gamer tag. Uh, Ripper309 helped me out very much on this and Hyphino helped me. We came up with the idea and I thought that I wanted to do it a lot so they convinced me just to do it so I did it. Uh, Took me a little while, but I came and just did it. But I'm going to turn it on and let y'all see. Alright. Everything's working. I don't have it connected to a TV yet. But right now, the thing's running. And pumps running, so blue LED light going on, fan, 
it's working on the back there's the water block there we go good picture uh, video graphics card is about at 85 CPU is around like 77 but what's good about this is the Leon mode temp and fan controller can also tell me if it's overheating like if the pump goes it'll start alerting me so they'll tell me if I need to shut it off to double check or anything but it took me on this project a lot of hours in it because I took two hours to sit down and I just uh, had everything laid out I put everything up to before I ever removed any of the heat sinks on the Xbox itself motherboard I put it right on top of where the heat sinks are gave it a little bit more tubing uh, you can buy the tubing also at Home Depot or anything uh, any kind of uh, plumbing supply store uh, but I can give you y'all you know, every single link I went to to find all the water cooling stuff it, I probably spent about a good close to 200 or less for everything but it was worth it because uh, the water cooling I'll never have the red ring of death it stays a lot cooler it won't overheat, overheat at all and I'll have a lot more time out of it no no really overheating at all but uh, it's just something I always wanted to do so everything works the pumps working fine uh, let me just turn it off I'll disconnect the Leon light temp and fan controller I can also turn it on for just a little while to let y'all be able to see everything on the inside working no problems it's a little messy at the time but turn it on the fan ain't gonna work right now it's a little messy those are all the wires for the Leon Lai temp fan controller so they're fine where they're at they're neat they'll get uh, I'm gonna loom all the temp control temp areas I'm also going to put a temp gauge in, in line with to be able to tell the temp on the water temp uh, I'm going to figure out what the third wire does for the pump uh, if it does how fast the pump's moving I'm going to hook that up to Leon by not bad at all but everything's very good I'm going to do anything and everything I can I'm going to add a lot more stuff to it but not too much to overload the power I have a four pin Molex soldered to the back that's going to move to the back side all this wiring is going to move to the back there's not going to be a single wire up in here it's all going to move to the back uh, the Molex is going to move to the back. All the wiring is going to be nice and neat, except for these, but they're all going to be loomed into one, but with enough deal to be able to go to their spots. But uh, send me a review, whatnot. This is going on to Hyphenos YouTube site, uh, and it'll be on there for a good while. There'll probably be more updates to this. Uh, if y'all want to get online and play, play me in some Modern Warfare 2, get y'all sell sniped off by me, but come join me. Uh, tried to do something like this, y'all. I very, very well convinced y'all to do it. It's fun. I had fun doing it. My friends had fun just watching me do it, but it's worth it. You can do it with your regular Xbox case. You can do it to whatever you want to. But just have fun. Be safe at what you're doing. Don't destroy your Xbox. Uh, always number one step 